Hot on the heels of our previous update to Galactic Civilizations 4 Supernova is our new version 2.3, titled War and Peace. Let's take a look at what this update brings to the game. To kick things off, the AI's diplomatic abilities have been improved, particularly in the way it approaches the declaration of war and suing for peace. Firstly, it'll now take into account past positive relationships when declaring a war with a rival civilization. This means that the AI will be less likely to declare war on a long-standing trade partner and more unwilling to accept a bribe from another civilization to declare war on a friend. Loyalty is not the only addition to this behavioral change though. The AI also now experiences war fatigue. The longer a war goes on, the easier it will be to form a peace agreement with the AI, which should help to reduce the instances of a civilization being stuck in a never-ending war they don't want to be in. Of course, if you're like me and war is your only way of life, you're free to carry on with the destruction regardless. But for more reasonable players, this will ensure a more dynamic flow to the intergalactic power struggle between both the player and the AI civilizations, as peace treaties are a more frequent occurrence. There are many other tweaks and changes that will ensure that diplomacy is more meaningful, contributing to a more nuanced and exciting gameplay experience. Trade routes are now more effective in improving relations with your trade partners, as civilizations are loath to lose access to those exotic goods or weapons you're selling them. Also, diplomatic civilizations will no longer covet your worlds and should be easier to deal with when you're neighboring them. These small changes should go a long way towards allowing the player to build great coalitions of do-gooding do-gooders to help combat the less friendly civilizations in the galaxy. The War and Peace update introduces a series of new ceasefire events to the game, which take into account both the initiator of the war and which civilization is currently winning. These events will bring a new level of immersion and strategic decision-making to warfare, ensuring you'll feel the consequences of your decisions in a more meaningful and thematic way. Version 2.3 adds support for the 720p resolution for Steam Deck, older displays and laptop computers, a feature much requested by the Galsiv community. We've also improved the game's localization, so that players across the world can enjoy the game too, as well as adding in new flavor text for the new war behavior features. For those of you who play multiplayer games, you can now watch your fleets engage in combat, blow by blow, in the battle viewer. We've also increased the performance of multiplayer games. We've updated the base game Epic Edition to include all the latest user interface changes and gameplay updates, minus the paid content from the Supernova Edition. This should bring a greatly improved gameplay experience for those of you who own that first version of the game. Finally, the War and Peace update brings a whole host of bug fixes and gameplay balance tweaks including a balance pass over the AI difficulty settings, many tech improvements, more reductions in influence generation, improvements to ship component systems in combat, more dangerous pirates, more lucrative tourism, taxation changes, and more. There's more to this update, and the full change log is linked in the description below. As always, we've created this update in response to community feedback, and we're continually grateful for all your input here. We hope you enjoy this new improved version of Galactic Civilizations. Cheers.